go meet Josh Key. Uh, he got a new Havoc. Uh, I think it's a 16, no, 1756. Uh, we'll confirm that in a minute with him. Uh, he just lives down here in Lufkin area, and that's where me and my wife are right now with her job. And uh, he got he brought it by. And we looked at it. Anyway, we're gonna go for a ride in today at the Angelina River at Highway 7. We're gonna head down to, I'm sorry, at 59. And we're gonna head down toward uh, the Sam Raven Lake. I got my chainsaw on the back. Uh, rained like three inches yesterday morning, so <clears throat> there's gonna be plenty of water in the river. So what we can need to cut, we probably could just go around today. But I've never been on that stretch, excited to see that. Uh, but anyway, funny thing about Josh, when he came over, I noticed he had a uh, <coughs> artillery sticker in the back window. And, and him and I actually were, were in Iraq the same time, from a 15 month deployment actually. Uh, March 06, no, yeah. March 06 of January 2008. We were both over there. It's funny how much we have in common at that place. We weren't on the same duty station at, in Iraq, but uh, anyway, I'm sure we'll talk about more stories today. But, yep, go put some dents in it. Go put some dents in that pretty boat, at least some scratches. Surely some scratches on the cowlick. You can't ride these rivers down here, the Angelina and Natchez. You're not riding these rivers down here, you're not scratching a cowlick, I'll tell you that. But anyway, let's go meet John. All right, we down here on the Angelina now. <laughs> rivers up, we just ran through the top of that oak tree there, got a bunch of all that new growth leaves. Sucked up on the jet. <clears throat> Josh gonna get it raked off. But uh, so this is 1756, right? 1756. 1756 V-Rat, right? Yep, 1756 V-Rat. With the old 6040 on it, running good. Uh, and this thing turns, golly, ain't no slide to it. Uh, if that's what you're after. But uh, we got the chainsaw here. Hopefully we don't have to fire that thing up, but. We're going to head on down to Sam Rayburn here. All right, so we're uh, making our way on down to the river, I mean to the lake down here, and it's, it's uh, I mean, it looks flooded to me. I don't know how much water's here, just not being from here, but uh, it's been pretty much driving through treetops like that for the past, what, 45 minutes? Yeah. And we rarely are able to get on plane, uh, but... It's beautiful out. We ain't mad at all. So he's on down through here. We kind of got back. The, the, the river splits up there. And we're back to now where it's one river again. And uh, looks like there's been some. We'll call human activity. Because. Trees are trimmed up for us. It's gotten a lot easier since we reconnected. Josh, here's your good chair. Hey, I think I'm gonna hold on to that one. You get that chair. I must say, I bet I can use that. Oh, <laughs> uh, long story on that one, but there's his chair. Noggin. 
So what's that about our... That's probably our fourth time having to fire the chainsaw up and we've uh, used his uh, little electric sawzall, I don't know, a couple times, but... What has happened is, if you see how small the river is again, there was another split that went out that way. I feel like we took the right path. Um, but we're having to cut, but I think the other way had to be a cut too. We're gonna try to get down here to the lake. It's been a little rougher going than I anticipated, but it's it looks fantastic out here and we're enjoying ourselves, so that's all that's all we came to do. Alright, we are now getting to what I would call lakey type water. It's still brown and flowing a little bit, but it's only because of all that rain we got. You just kind of look around at the trees and the stuff going on over there. It looks a lot like a lake, back of a lake to me. So anyway, man, we've worked hard to get down here. We're gonna keep riding and uh, see if we can't get out to some open water a little bit. Well, we're right here in the back of this lake now. It's uh, just little cuts like this to the trees everywhere, but we've done seen several gators that we was able to get close to that one there. He ain't real big. He's probably five and a half foot though. But yeah, we're probably gonna ease down just a little bit further and call it, call it good. And head back up because we're going to cut a little more on the way back up to make it easier. But I don't know if you can hear me, it's windy, but <laughs> we're in the lake now. Choppy. Uh, yeah, fun's over. We're going to turn around and head back up. Ain't no fun in this. That's in a couple of prop boats. I think I hear an airboat up there too. Well, I didn't, uh, this is the first time for me here. Um, there's a the cowlin. It came off. We was going through some trees and um, it just pulled the cowlin off. And it was, luckily it, it, it turned it upside down. It's floating. These cowlins do not float. And they won't float for long. And we was able to get ripped around fast. Josh got me pulled under and I grabbed it before it went under the water. But... It even grabbed some wires there and misplaced them, but it didn't tear nothing up. Motor's still running fine, but. These old uh, Deep East Texas rivers, I mean, they're just, it's a, you're just driving through a forest. Um, and um, as Josh said earlier, this was a brand new boat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been great we made it y'all saw we made it down to the lake and we're headed back up now um which we went right through that earlier um but just didn't have the same luck this time nah we made it back up to 59 now and uh first time i've ever seen this happen uh earlier you saw where the cowling had broken off well i'll show you right here it actually can't see it yeah you can right see that broke piece right there it snapped off the ear that catches it on the top side so gonna have to replace this piece isn't hard to do a couple eight millimeter bolts but it lived y'all she ain't scratched up bad uh, we got a few scratches on the cow and obviously hit something enough to break it off here, but Whatever most of that'll yeah. smudge off here, maybe But hey, that was a good trip. How far was it? Do you got your total? He, he's got a total for what it was. He, he got way sketchier down there than we anticipated 40 miles, 40 miles down. Almost six hours, probably. Six probably hours. Most of it, you're not even on plane. You're just in all these treetops and stuff like that. So, anyhow, that's that trip. We'll see y'all again.